Windows 10 is out. Yay! And thanks to Microsoft, people are enjoying their free upgrades. But then there are a lot of people like me who despite having their free upgrades reserved, still haven't got it yet. Well hello guys, this is Dietechnotine and in this video I'll be showing to you how to get Windows 10 right now, no waiting, free, easy, legit and most importantly straight out of Microsoft's website. So without any further delay, let's get this started. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go online and do a search for Windows 10 download page. And in the search results, you want to click the link under the first search result which says Windows 10 ISO. As you can see, I've highlighted it. I've even put this link in the description of this video. So now I'm going to click it. The link will take you to this page on Microsoft's website. And what you want to do here is you want to scroll down and download the Windows 10 download tool. Now, if you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, then download the 32-bit version of the tool. But if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, then download the 64-bit version of the tool. And if you don't know which sort of Windows you're running, well, you can find that out very easily in your system properties. And since I'm running a 32-bit version of Windows, I'm going to download the 32-bit version of the tool by clicking the button which says download tool now a 32-bit version. All right, so I'm going to download this 17.4 meg file. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And here we go. All right, so once you have the tool successfully downloaded, you want to run it by simply double-clicking on it. Click run in this security warning. Now the tool might actually take a few seconds to pop up on your screen. So here I have the tool on my screen and it's giving me two options right now. First one is to upgrade this PC right now and the second one is to create installation media for another PC. I'm going to select the second one and I will advise you to do the same as well because the second option gives you the flexibility to do both. A. Perform an upgrade and B. Do a clean install. So I'm going to click next. Now the tool is going to ask you which language you want for your windows, which edition of windows you want to have and what architecture you would like to have. So I'm going to select English United States as my language. Now I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro as my edition. By the way, some editions of Windows 10 have a capital N to the end of their names. And well, those editions don't have any media features. Let me give you an example. Windows 10 Pro has all the media features. Windows Media Player, Windows Media Center, etc, etc, whilst Windows 10 Pro N doesn't have any media features. It does not have the Windows Media Player, it doesn't have the Windows Media Center, etc, etc. So I'm going to select Windows 10 Pro. I would like to have 64-bit ar architecture for my Windows, but you can use 32-bit as well. And now I'm going to click Next. And now the Windows 10 download tool is asking me what I would like to do, whether I would like to create a USB flash drive for Windows installation or whether I would like to download an ISO file. Now I'm going to select the second option which is the ISO file as it gives me the flexibility to do both. Number one, make a Windows installation DVD and number two, make a Windows installation USB flash drive. So I've selected the ISO file and this is the option that I recommend you to select as well. So now I'm going to click next. Now it's asking me to give a name to the ISO file, so I'm going to call it Windows 10 Pro and save it to my desktop. As you can see, the Windows 10 download tool has actually started downloading Windows 10 and once the downloading is complete, it's going to verify the download and that's it, you'll be done. But those two processes are going to take some time, so with the magic of editing, I'm going to skip to the end result right now. So here I have my Windows 10 Pro ISO downloaded and in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make a USB flash bootable drive out of it. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, share, subscribe and don't forget to visit my links, my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, my Twitter page and etc etc so once again thanks for watching and have a nice day